All right. Awesome. Well, huge welcome, everybody. I'm thrilled today to be joined by our amazing National Marketing Director, Jade Baxter. And um, Jade has just been, in. if anybody has been following her socials or anything like that, she's just this beautiful, gentle, I call her kind of my like gypsy, my juice plus gypsy, because I just love how she hangs out and how she shows up in social. And she's exactly the same in real life. So for those of you who haven't had the pleasure of meeting Jade before, um, I'm thrilled that you actually get to be able to hang out with her today. So Jade, thank you so much for agreeing to kind of share a little bit around the cart sharing and all that that we're going back to release for people. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm very excited, guys. It's going to be awesome. It is pretty cool. So the reason for this video is that we want to actually um, make available to every single one of our partners the cart sharing opportunity. Now, we've had a test group and all of our national marketing directors that have been testing this on and off for nearly a year now, actually. We just wanted to make sure that it was right before we went, okay, let's open the door for everybody. So I'm going to get, first of all, out of the way. I'm going to share my screen, and I'm going to actually just show you just some of the ins and outs of what cart sharing is about. So hopefully you're all seeing my screen right now. So we're going to have a user guide that's going to go into your virtual office. It will be available very, very soon in there. So go check it out. It's got everything from how to create a Juice Plus order, sharing, how to share links, all sorts of things like that. And you will find that submitting an order is no different than what it was before. The same icons are on your virtual office page. Um, you get to be able to go in there. But what you will see is this little share cart button on the side. Um, and that, what do you do, um, Jade, on this one? Do you just build the cart and then just click share? What have you found? Yeah, 100%. So this is really cool because you're still able to support your customer in helping them decide or feel into which is the best product fit for them. You literally get to then pick it for them, which is really, really handy. And then you just hit the button and then you're on to the next step, which is just putting in a couple of their details. Awesome. So when you get to the next um, step, as, as Jade said, you can actually just fill in some of the details. So you can pre-fill details out in as you go. Um, and especially things like, you know, name and address and, and maybe, you know, even their contact details. What's really, really important here, though, is that they, you get the correct phone number details and email details in there. That's really important. And then you can literally share the card. Now, I love to share the card and say to address book details. That's the button that I would share. I mean, just makes sense. Wouldn't you think you'd agree, Jade? It's the best. I'm so glad I've done that over the years because I have literally now in my virtual office got a list of everyone I've ever helped with Juice Plus. That's just smart, guys. Okay. You've got like, a, it literally, it's a CRM as a, you know, client relationship management system at your fingertips as part of your VO, you should use it. Um, and it also means that when we come up with great promotions and that, you've got everybody's details that you can actually kind of go back to. So always click the button, share card and save to address book. It really does make sense for you. And then literally you get the opportunity to be able to share and you can share it by email. You can kind of share it on if for those of you who use WhatsApp or Messenger. What have you found that you use the most, Jade? So I predominantly find that the copy button is where I hang out. So I just copy it and then I can drop it straight into a text or straight into um, like a Messenger chat on Facebook. Brilliant. Easy. So it's as simple as that. Literally, all you're going to do is just click whatever one way that you want to do it. I probably would do the same copy and then I can lift it into whatever is I know the best for that customer because I might have been interacting with that customer, say, for example, on Messenger. Great. Or it could be on text. So I'm going to make sure that I actually deal with them the best way. Less likely probably email at the moment. Um, I, I would say text and, and uh, messenger, definitely way to go. And then it's exactly the same for healthy starts. So with healthy starts, you would go through and fill in as much of the detail as you possibly can. Um, so you can kind of, and then follow it through. Again, share cart with the customer, do exactly the same thing, share cart and save to address book because you'll have filled in some of their details um, and then go from there. Now, what's the customer experience? So they will actually get to be able to click on their order and they'll get to review their order. Um, so that's really important. They get to be able to say, okay, right, now that's in there. And I love this because, you know, there are times when we get calls at the office here and kind of going, oh, I didn't know I was ordering that or I didn't know I was getting this or 
wherever, they actually have got a little bit of control over that as they go. Um, and then they get to be able to verify it, okay? Review the order, verify the order. And then what we ask them to do is like, so if their email address is not the same as what you kind of put in originally for them, um, you may, they will get to be able to, um, you know, uh, check that out and, and confirm it. Do you find, uh, Jay, that you've had many where they, it's wrong or the details are wrong or anything like that? Um, no, you just need to make sure that you put it, put it in right and it saves yourself so much drama later. So just triple check the email field um, because I know there are so many different email combos and underscores and things like that. So just make sure you put that in correctly and then you are sweet. It's so cool because then it's just over to them. Yeah, excellent. And look, the other reason why the email is so important is that um, a lot of time for us, to be honest, the way that we sort customers is via their email addresses. So we do a lot of um, sorting in, just even when we're running reports or anything like that, via the email address. In Juice Plus, we don't actually have a customer number. We have ARO numbers, but that's really the order number for the particular order. So the email address is the thing that actually is literally like their identifier. So it's really important that that is correct in the system. So your help on that to make sure that that's correct, I think is, is really, really important. It's also another way in which we can communicate that with them. So for, for a lot of our contact from the office or Australia Post, for example, with things that are going out, a lot of things do go via email. So it is important, even though you might not communicate with them via email, a lot of the times we do. Um, so they get to be able to check out everything that's there. So they see, they'll act, what I love about this too, is that they actually see, this is when the payments are due coming out. Um, they know exactly what the total amount is going to be. And that really does kind of clear up any confusion. I'm sure some of you might have had before where a customer will come to you or they come to us and go, hang on, I thought I was paying this amount. And the first monthly payment is the thought what it was for the whole thing instead of the installments, no matter how well you've explained it. This just gets to clarify it. I think that that's really handy. Jade, do you agree there? Yeah, I just feel like we're coming into the like modern day completely. You know, when we all shop online and you get your your review screen like this, you know, when you're purchasing, whether it's you're buying a dress or whatever, and yep. you see like anything, everything's there for you. So yeah, I think it's really professional and I think it's really, really important that the customer sees this. It's a little bit like what a lot of people use after paying now or whatever it might be, lay by, whatever. This is exactly what we're doing, except that, you know, they're getting the product up front and they've got their lay by or their payments and that are all ready for them there as well. Now, this is one of the important things. They get to be able to check, of course, the details that you would have already pre-filled out. So you'd have probably uh, put in the address and all of the details for them. So they get to just double check so that we can make sure that it goes to the right uh, place. Um, on that and then they get to be able to put in their payment details. Now this is a place too where you get to check, okay? You'll be able to see in My Customers, you can navigate to that on your virtual office. And in there you'll see there's a carts shared section, okay? So you're gonna be able to see what are the carts that you've actually shared? So where are they? Okay, so Mrs. Boswell has been shopping up a storm here for you, Jade. So <laughs> you can see the carts shared in there. Um, and, that, and you'll receive an email confirmation once the cart is complete as well. But if you haven't got it, you can actually go in and, and check in here. So I, I think that that's always great because sometimes we forget, did we do it or didn't we do it? We can actually check in here as well. Okay, um, here we go. All righty, so understanding your sh shared cart report. Okay, carts do not expire. Um, carts will only open with the customer's email address that was submitted by the partner. So if the customer uses another email address, it won't open up. So really important to get those details correct. Okay, so you'll actually have a sent, a clicked, an order submitted, a payment approved, or a problem with the payment. So you can actually do some great follow up as well. It keeps you on top of it. And you literally can just be, all right, cart shared, go on and then just set yourself a little reminder maybe to check the next day. Has it been completed? Has it gone through okay um, as well? I think that's one of the important things here. Okay, all righty. Well, that's, that little document is actually going to be shared in the VO. But Jade, what I wanted to um, really ask you is, 
Why have you used, because you really embraced the whole cart sharing thing. Why is it that you did that? I just feel like uh, two reasons, two main reasons for me. First of all, I just feel so much more professional. I don't really want to be asking people's card details over the internet, um, especially sometimes on social media where there are people that, you know, you've just built this relationship with, but you may not have even met in person yet. Um, and even at an in-home event, <clears throat> I find that you can get really um, like caught up talking to each person afterwards. And if you've then got to like ask their card details and put them in, it's just, I don't know. For me, this just feels really professional, really solid. Um, it's so easy, like so easy. You can't like, you can't muck this up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I remember one time, uh, I think it was only last year, I accidentally put someone's address in wrong. I put number one instead of number 10 for their street name. So I seriously love that the customer gets to double check all their details and make sure that I have like it's going to them. Um, yeah. And the other reason I think it's great is that I find it's this bridge. It's this in-between place between them taking full ownership and having this really solo experience on our website where they see all the products and they maybe get somewhat overwhelmed. They can be like, which one's right? How do I do the children's, like, how do I connect my child's order to this? And it can be a little bit, uh, the, I think the off the website is so fantastic for the science and it has all your information there and it's yes. great to flip countries so you can get the pricing for other countries. But I never really wanted my customers to go there to order. I always felt like I wanted them to have that personal touch. So yeah. cart share is this really good middle ground where you're going to help them pick their product that's best for them right now. You're going to line it all up for them, pop in a few of their details, save them the time, even though it takes two minutes. It's like such a nice little touch. And then they just, I literally say to my clients, pop in your card details, hit go, and I've done the rest for you. Yeah. And they're like, oh, great, thanks. And I love the personal touch because I think I agree with you. Like, I mean, you know, going to the website is a fantastic place. It's a great resource. But when it comes to actually the shopping experience, I think that it's, if we remember that we're actually like the personal shopper, we're actually helping them create their cart and then they just got to complete it all up. And in, in today's environment, I think I agree with you. I think it's really important that we're not asking people for their, their cart details. We're technically not supposed to really, you know, it's, it's their personal details. And so them taking control over that also helps them take control over their spending. Um, and the other, I suppose, little thing that I would say, the fortune is in the follow-up, okay? So you send the cart. Now, you can do this a couple of ways. You could be on a Zoom like myself and Jada are right now. You're creating the cart. You're sending them straight away. You talk them through, just in case, what it is, and it's done. It's all done, and you've had this beautiful, easy experience. They felt like they've got some control. You've helped them with that experience. And that's so... That would be some of the things that I would probably do as well. Um, but if you don't, if you're in the midst of it and you're going flat out and you're just getting those carts out, just make sure that you remember the adage that fortune is in the follow-up. You might send a cart through and you're kind of going, oh my gosh, they haven't completed it yet. But you don't know that like, you know, they haven't had tripped over the cat or, you know, one of the children has gone mad or whatever um, that has happened. And it's not that it's not, that they don't want to place their order. It's that life suddenly got in the way. And so it's our responsibility to continue to follow up. Would you agree? Have you had some like that maybe where they forgot? Yeah, like mums that are like flat out and they've got the kids and it's all happening. And I've sent it maybe like, you know, tea time or something when I've got around to filling it out for them. So if you use Teamsy or something like that, I just literally set a follow up for myself for a day later. And I'm like, hey, how are you? Did you get a chance to fill out the cart? Did you have any dramas? Let me know. Um, did you click the link? That kind of thing. Um, if you don't use Teams, it's totally cool. Just set yourself, a, like if you're old school and you have your notepad or whatever, just set yourself a little reminder. It's And you've got, the cool thing is your virtual office, like Celine showed on that screen, it shows you where everyone's at. So it will show you who's opened it and hasn't finalized it yet. So you can go back to them and say, hey, how are you? I saw you clicked open, but I know what life is like. And you can easily get stuck putting your phone down and, and get carried away. Are you all good finalizing the, the link over there? 
you know, like you can be really graceful with it and really supportive. And I really love sort of asking the question in terms of have you, have you managed to finalize your order? I really want to add you into our, you know, customer support group or our client online home or whatever you call your, you know, your space. Yeah, that's a great idea, actually, because it's that value add then that's after the transaction has happened. You know, a little, little bit lately, we've been talking about, you know, helping them have the transformation after the transaction. Um, and sometimes we can kind of get it all pushed around. And that's an, an extra little bit of encouragement um, for them to be able to do. Well, Jay, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you sharing your wisdom on why you've been enjoying using cart sharing. And so I'm going to encourage everybody. Um, I have a little report that comes through to me on a daily basis. I can look at my thing to see how we're going with sharing cart sharing. I'm expecting that to go through the roof. So let's get on there. Let's be professional, as Jade said at the very beginning there. It just brings us another level of professional kind of thing, behavior really. Um, and so let's be the, continue to be the shining light in our industry out there, especially um, nowadays. All righty, thanks everybody.